This tutorial explains how to set the access limits of a ggplot2 plot to a certain date range in the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video I will show you an example and this example is based on the data frame that we can create with lines 2 to 5 of the code. So if you run these lines of code you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new data frame object is appearing which is called data. And if you click on this data frame a new window is opened which is showing the structure of our data frame. And as you can see our data frame contains 10 rows and 2 columns which are called X and Y. And the column X contains dates and the column Y contains numeric values. Now let's assume that we want to draw these data using the ggplot2 package. Then we also need to install and load the package as you can see in lines 7 and 8. I have installed the ggplot2 package already so for that reason I'm just going to load it with line 8 of the code. And after running this line of code we are able to use the functions of the ggplot2 package such as ggplot and geompoint as you can see in lines 10 and 11. So if you run these lines of code you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new plot object is appearing which is called ggp. And we can draw this plot to the bottom right of RStudio using the code in line 12. So if you run this line of code you can see at the bottom right that a new scatter plot has been created. And you can also see that the x-axis of this plot corresponds to our date color. So let's assume that we want to set a certain axis limit based on a range of dates. Then we first need to install and load the scales package as you can see in lines 14 and 15. I have installed this package as well so for that reason I'm just going to load it with line 15 of the code and after running this line of code we are able to use the scale x date function that is provided by the scales package and then we need to add this function to our plot object that we have created before and within the scale x date function we need to specify the limits argument and this argument needs to be equal to a range of dates. So in this case I want to set the access limits to the 3rd of January 2022 up to the 7th of January 2022. So if you run lines 17 and 18 of the code you can see at the bottom right that our plot is updated because this time we have drawn only a subset of our data because we have cut off the date range at the 3rd of January and at the 7th of January. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching, see you in the next video.